Hereby I accept the office of president here by local. Let's see, go all the way through it. You're doing fine. Local 336. Local uh, 2336. Uh, 23, 23, 23, 30. Hereby I accept the office of president of local 2336. Uh, Communications Workers of America. Communications Workers of America. The full knowledge of the responsibilities and duties of such office. The full, the full knowledge of the responsibilities and duties of such office. I promise to faithfully discharge my duties according to the bylaws and laws of local and uh, the Constitution and policies of the Union. I promise to faithfully discharge my duties according to the bylaws and rules of the local and the Constitution and policies of the Union. I further promise to give my successor in office all books and records in my position. I further promise to give my success in office all books and records in my possession. I shall at this time endeavor, endeavor to serve my local and the union to the best of my abilities. I shall at all times, I shall at all times endeavor to serve my local and the union to the best of my abilities. So help me God. So help me God. Amen. Michael, how do you feel about your new president? I feel pretty good about it. I feel pretty good. We're going to be all right. There's going to be a whole lot of stuff to be done right away. And uh, my executive vice president just kept coming there with a staff convention. That started to get out the wrong way, but that was fun. He's a fair thing, even for that. Congratulations. How do you feel about your granddaddy being the president of the union? It's good. I feel happy. What about you, Jermaine? I'm surprised she wasn't president all along. Yeah, me too. I mean, I'm surprised she wasn't president all But I'm very proud of you. You know you're still pretty just like your Aunt Joanne. Oh, okay. <laughs>